माय डियर व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई शल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रांसफॉर्मर रेस्ट्रिक्टेड आर फॉल स्टेबिलिटी टेस्टिंग प्रोसीड्योर एज वेल एज डिफेंसियल प्रोटेक्शन स्टेबिलिटी टेस्ट इन दिस वीडियो इट इज नॉट बीइंग पॉसिबल टू शो स्टेबिलिटी टेस्ट प्रोसीड्योर ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर बाय बोथ आर एंड डिफेंसियल प्रोटेक्शन स्कीम ऑल दो प्रोसेस ऑफ टेस्टिंग ऑफ बोथ आर सेम testing of rf protection stability will be shown here touching a few notes related to differential protection testing calculation of currents before transformer stability test before testing a transformer some calculations are to be done which are required for both test the details of transformer to be tested is given here It is 50 MVA 132 by 33 kV YND1 transformer are protected by 300 by 1 ampere CT at AG side and 1000 by 1 ampere CT at LV side Please watch the calculations and note down the expected secondary current of LV side CT and AG side CT which will be required during testing of RF as well as differential protection apply 3 phase 400 volts at secondary side of the transformer under test after sorting all the 3 phase hv after this differential cities so applied voltage in primary side is equal to 400 volts now we have to calculate expected lv side current after applying 400 volt from transformer data It is ninety one point zero eight amperes. Now, expected secondary current of LV city, city ratio thousand by one, is equal to zero point zero nine one. Now, expected HV side current is to be calculated. It is. 22.774 amperes expected secondary current of hb city is equal to 0.076 ampere at ct ratio 300 by 1 we have to check these both secondary currents that is 0.091 and 0.076 amperes of hv and lv cities at different terminals if it is available exactly or likely at checking terminal then the testing of stability of rf as well as differential protection is okay for checking stability we have to create a fault on outside or inside of the differential current transformers after this we have to measure the current of hv side cities and lv side cities secondaries in all the measuring point like fts ammeter differential relay rf relay etc for testing stability following steps to be taken
expected secondary current of LVCT and HVCT are to be calculated when 3 phase 400 volt is applied from LV side of the transformer, sorting the merging of AV side CT, etc. Testing of RDF protection stability test. Isolate the HV side. Create earth fault path by sorting all the three lines separately with earth using suitable sorting rods outside of the protected zone. Apply 3 phase 400 volts from L side of the transformer. Please watch the direction of currents. Measurement of currents is taken by using clampometer. Current through stabilizing register is zero, but outside of stabilizing circuit, currents have same values. Current during through fault not flowing through the relay, but circulating through the closed path. Three phase supply voltage is withdrawn. Shuttings of outside zone are withdrawn. Shorting with earth at blue phase inside protected zone is done. Three phase 400 volt is applied at LV side of the transformer. Please watch the direction of currents which are flowing through the relay at a specific setting of resistance RS. Currents are measured by clamp-on tester at places shows same. So the protection scheme is okay. Stability testing of RF scheme. Stability tests of RF schemes are done to ensure that all wearings and city polarities are connected correctly. An RF protection scheme acting OK. For the RF protection of a winding, four cities are involved, three phase and one neutral city of same rating and at same setting, except for auto transformer.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो